There's a new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero trailer that is about to premiere. Here we go. Master and Apprentice. Beautiful Piccolo. Let's turn off that uh, subtitles and Kid Gohan, the first Gohan to be announced. A non-breakable bond, baby. You can play Piccolo with a cape? That's not always the case. That's kind of cool. Is it an outfit or is it like battle damage, I wonder? Could even be a separate character. That's some uh, story mode stuff, right? There's got to be some story mode stuff. Base Roshi also announced. We already had buff Roshi, but that's a new Roshi right there. Wolfang Fist! Looks good, looks good. Yes, sir. Okay, good hits, good hits, good hits. And of course, you got to have that. You got to have that. Lightning surprise! All right, Fidel also makes it, obviously. Another Gohan, adult Gohan. That's... Whoa, 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 whoa! That dodge look fire! Oh, we got pigtails and short hair? They're actually doing skins, I love that. I love that! Yes, sir! Follower of Divinity, Wiss and Beerus. I can't believe I read comments saying, oh, You think Wiss is gonna make it? Really? He doesn't do anything in the show. <laughs> Man. Man, if only you knew. He's just standing there, negating everything. Crazy. <laughs> you don't care, Beerus. Whoa! Is that buff? Is that a skill that just buffs him? Let's go into the future. One-armed Gohan, baby! And of course, Z's sword trunks. He comes in our base as well as Super Saiyan form. Okay. Okay. The androids, both of them had a unique animation there. Could be a story mode, could be like Team Ultimate uh, sort of situation. We haven't gotten any confirmation uh, uh, on like Team Ultimates or anything of the sort. Definitely excited to see more of that. I think we're getting a lot of story stuff. Honestly, a lot of these cutscenes, I think, are story. Oh, we're done, right? I think those are all the characters that were in the scan that we looked at a couple of weeks ago. It's been a couple of weeks. Let's see the placements, see if there's any surprises there. I think for the most part, pretty predictable, but we'll analyze it further. We're definitely taking a deeper look at this trailer, looking at all the moves that were just showcased, and obviously checking out the character placements to see if we can learn anything new there. Now, a game like Sparking Zero will probably come out digitally as well as physically around the whole world, but unfortunately, that is not the case for all Japanese games. Nowadays, most games come out worldwide, but when it comes to physical versions, a lot of them stay in Asia, and that's where today's sponsor comes in. Play Asia is your one-stop destination for everything Asia exclusive. Exclusive. Physical games, figures, toys, they have over 20 years of experience in the industry and their collection has no equal. So let's say you want to play The Man Who Erased His Name, the Yakuza spin-off. You can buy it from a digital store like Steam or PSN, no problem. But if you're a fan of physical games and you value your physical collection somehow, then you either have to get on a plane and fly over to Japan or you buy it at Play Asia and they send it over to you. Yeah, the second option sounds way easier. The best part is you can even get free shipping on orders over $99 as long as you keep the package under 2 kilograms. That's 4.4 pounds for those with weird weight measures. And to save even more on your purchase, you can use my discount code GLOBKU at checkout and you'll get 5% off of anything you order. Well, almost anything. It doesn't apply to gift cards because that would be a fun money hack. So what are you waiting for? Head over to PlayAsia.com today and start shopping with code Globku for a 5% discount. And thank you, PlayAsia, for sponsoring this video. All right, first up, Piccolo with cape. Can we play as Piccolo with a cape? We've seen Piccolo without the cape before, but now that we've also seen Videl with pigtails and without pigtails, I do think that skins are just going to be a thing. Is this Piccolo a different version of the character? No. It is the same character because they did not add Piccolo with a cape to this final screen right here. Also, if you look at Videl, she's on the top left right there, and it's only one character. They didn't make the pigtails version a separate character or anything like that. I love this. This trailer didn't just confirm new characters, it also confirmed that character skins are going to be a thing. Next, I want to take a look at this moment of the fight between Videl and Gohan, because this animation of Gohan dodging Videl's attacks is just too sick. Now, Tenkaichi did have a universal mechanic that looked a bit something like this. This could very well be a return of that universal mechanic, where you just go into this dodging state. And after the dodging, there's also a counterattack, same as Tenkaichi 3. On the other hand, this could actually be an active skill, something like After Image Strike, which has been confirmed to be a part of Sparking Zero as well. Now, we don't know if Gohan has After Image Strike. I believe the previous scan said that Master Roshi would have After Image Strike. That said, if I were a betting man, I would say this is a universal mechanic right here. 
here. And honestly, it just looks fantastic. Gameplay wise, if it works the same as Tenkaichi 3, after you do that first dodge, which goes into a slow motion here, the rest of it happens automatically. Now, Beerus and Whis is very interesting because Whis showcases a bunch of defensive mechanics. First, he blocks a bunch of key blasts in what looks like a barrier type of ability. Barriers aren't really new to Tenkaichi, there are a ton of them in the game. This one looks different from the ones we've seen before, but that also makes sense because Whis is a different type of character. So it's very possible that Whis just has a barrier type move in his kit. Then we see him deflecting a key blast. I'm pretty sure that is going to be a universal mechanic. And then Beerus goes a little bit bigger, and I have no idea what Wiz does here, but he completely neutralizes the attack. That looks so sick, and I cannot wait to learn more about it. Once Beerus finally had enough, he finally launches this super, and Wiz actually has to get out of there for the first time. Now, when he flies into Beerus, and then he just eats a dessert, this could very well be an active skill that just buffs the character, and honestly, that fits Wiz pretty well. What does that buff? I guess we'll find out in the future. Speaking of future, Gohan with one arm officially confirmed. Not every Dragon Ball game has Gohan with one arm. A lot of Dragon Ball games in the past have censored this character, but that is not going to be the case here. Also, Trunks with Z-Sword, that's a new character announcement, and both of them come in base form as well as Super Saiyan. Now, the androids, Android 18 and 17. Here's something interesting, 17 is not a new character. The two of them showing up together here tells me that they either have some kind of team-up move or maybe a team intro, or this is purely story mode stuff. Now, it's interesting interesting is that this version of Android 17 is not a new character. This 17 and the 17 that was announced previously are the same. Because you can see that if we go into the roster screen at the end of the trailer, there is no new Android 17. Which means this is only a skin for the Android 17 that we already had. Overall, I think this is fantastic news because it means that we get skins. And those skins are not going to take up character slots because their gameplay doesn't change. So I think that is a massive W in my book. Let's take a look at the final roster screen and what can we learn from this. I'm still a bit mad that the placement here is completely random. Future Gohan is completely separate from Future Trunks, who is completely separate from Z Trunks and completely separate from Super Trunks. Adult Gohan has taken the spot next to Broly. Beerus and Wiz have taken the top right corner. Master Roshi has expected next to his other forms, so confirming that's pretty much a transformation that he's gonna have. Fidel takes the top left and Gohan goes right next to Krillin. And those are the new character additions. Now, comparing this to my prediction, I obviously have to change some placements around because uh, I I predicted a lot of these characters, but not in the right place. I'm currently at a minus one because uh, Kakunsa, I did not predict her. But now we're going to upgrade that to a minus three as we have Z Sword Trunks. I thought Dragon Ball Super Trunks was going to be the only Trunks with a sword that we got. But no, we're getting three different versions of Trunks. So this prediction is currently sitting at a minus three. That's the number of characters that I did not predict correctly. I'm pretty happy with my prediction so far. I mean, look at the number of confirmed characters we have. And I only guessed three of them wrong so far. I think it's a great prediction. But that's going to do it for today. If you want to make sure you don't miss the next trailer, the next character reveal, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Play Asia. You can get a 5% discount by just clicking my link in the description down below. And if you want to know more about these characters that were announced in this trailer, check out this video right here, where I break down their abilities that came out in the scan a couple of weeks ago. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.